It's your girl, Honey, the organic D-E-I-T-Y, D-E-I-T-Y. And today, first off, I pray to the heavens that everyone is healthy, well, and happy, and that you have something clean, safe, and healthy to eat. Also, this is unique. I have red quinoa with corn and broccoli. And actually, this is fried chicken like nuggets and salmon so it's unique but trust me it tastes the ball also today I got some hot rule boys tea on deck with some agave nectar because I ran out of fruit so I had a little we had a kind of like a thinned out strawberry smoothie with chia seeds and stuff in it but um I got hot tea because I don't want to drink orange juice. And I want to introduce to y'all my lemon sauce. Yes, great with seafood lemon sauce and chicken and seafood. Also, I'm going to do a mukbang with this, a seafood boil. I'm going to do regular crab legs, just the little skinny ones. I'm going to give those a try. And um, I'm going to do uh, a butter sauce. But this here is my tangy, yummy lemon sauce. Absolutely divine. And I started making this like back in about five years ago, four or five years ago. Anyway, I'm going to be, I made it tonight and everyone in the house loves it. So I'm sharing it with y'all. And I also, I'm going to leave the, a link in the description box below um, of the recipe. I said link. I'm going to leave in the description box below the recipe and you don't have to cook it. That's the best part. All you need is like a food processor or a blender or something like that. That's all you need. And it's divine. So, and it's the same type. You can make the texture as thick as you want it, depending on how much liquid you use, or you can make the texture thin. So I'll do both. This one is a uh, liquidy one tonight, but next time I'll do like a thicker one. And then that way, yeah, we're going to pour this on, but it has like a, a, a texture, like a hot, like hot sauce, if you will. Kind of like that texture but it is it all i can say it is the whip and again this what i made is um it's really good to me if you want rice you can pair it with rice if you prefer rice but i did red quinoa and i use uh organic veggie broth organic red quinoa and i put in organic corn and organic broccoli and I boiled that all up in different seasonings. And I put in, uh, not marsala, maybe it was marsala, but I put in a Mediterranean seasoning in the quinoa. And then I just fried up organic chicken tenders and I fried up organic salmon, which is right, a piece of organic salmon right there. And actually I coated it with matzah instead of like cornmeal, which is cornmeal, matzah and uh, but it has a uh, dry lime in the in the cornmeal, which makes it matzo for folks that don't know. But try it. It's amazing to me. Everyone in the family loves it. It's a hit, hit, hit all day. Hit out the park. I'm telling you. This right here is absolutely divine. And the lemon sauce. You just have to try it. And again, you all can make it at home. And I'll leave the recipe. I had, this is my own personal recipe. And um, it's pretty divine. And I'll start selling, sending some out to different monk bangers to try too. On um, their seafood and their chicken and whatever meats they have. I prefer on like turkey, chicken. But if you want to use it on your beef or lamb or, or um, you know, other types of meats, you can. But for me, it's like the bird and fish. You know, so that's what that's my hangout, the bird and the fish. And like my mudger, my mudger, she enjoyed it. And yeah, everybody in the, in the house that, you know, my fam fam. All right, let's drop and give thanks. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food we're about to receive. I pray it's safe, clean, and healthy. I'm thankful to have organic, fresh food and fruits, I mean, vegetables and fruits from earlier. And I am just thankful and grateful to Mother Earth and her production for us in your name I praise and I'm thankful for the to be able to you know be able to provide this for us and may it nurse the body amen all right let's go ahead and dig in let's dig 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 up in it
Mm-mm-mm. I got a tooth issue. But this is lit. <clears throat> Once you try this sauce, it's going to be hard to not have it on your meat. It's, it's, it's divine. And all the ingredients are all natural. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely heavenly. I have to be careful too because I broke one of my molars down here. I've been in pain all day. And, um, um, it's just, I took a, like a baby aspirin and then I put a uh, ginger on it. I put raw ginger, ginger root and my, my madre, my mom, uh, she was going to put some capsule ginger on it, the powdered ginger. So I put some of that on it too. Well, it has helped, you know, a lot better. It hasn't taken all the pain away, but for a minute there, I couldn't think straight. I was like wanting to just walk around in circles. And I have a high threshold for pain. Me. So I'm just chewing on this side of my mouth. Because that molar is like, it's, it's tapped out on me. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling y'all, this is absolutely marvelous mm -mm -mm -mm. I bring y'all in yeah this sauce here my um seafood and um, poultry um, lemon sauce It take your meat, your food to a whole, vegetables too, grains too. Like this can one vegetables to a whole new level. Hmm. I want to taste something. I'll be right back. I'll be right there, y'all. I'll be right back. Or I'm just, just for a second here, just getting this together. Or something for my madre to taste. I had to get this for madre. My mudger. Here, mom. Taste this. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Baby. Taste that. And this, like B Love sauce, this, my sauce, it, it does as it sits. In 24 hours, the, the flavor is even more explosive. Got the other piece of salmon. I killed the salmon. That is a organic 
fried chicken tender and matzo and a ton of spices. Mmm. Mm. Listen, y'all, I put that on my mom. This meal is absolutely heavenly. I wish y'all could literally come through and taste it it's just i'm serious oh my good i have an aching tooth and i'm still oh my god oh my god mm. Mm -mm -mm. this is what you, this is the definition of a happy meal. A happy meal. Oh. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Y'all gonna thank me. Y'all gonna be like, oh my God, that is banging. Mm. I'm called a dentist first thing Monday morning. I do hope y'all are doing well. I went out today. Everybody and their mama was out. Shopping. Store packed. Target was packed. Best Buy had cars lined up for days. Target, Target told me, the girl in the electronics, she was like, we sold out of everything. Telling y'all, mm. 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 this dish right here is is like one of the best dishes that I made. And I can cook everything. I can cook old school soul food. I can do it all. 
I just got away from all that years ago because of, um, you know, actually I got away. I, I went organic when in 1994. 1994 a year a year before my grandmother passed away because she passed away in 1995 and then Tupac passed away in 1996 and then several years after that I think only a couple maybe two three years after that Aaliyah passed away and then left I passed away in 2000 2000 I think 2000 but at any rate I thank the Heavenly Father for letting me stick around and share this lemon sauce with y'all. So, the bomb, the bombation. I, I promise you. I promise you. I promise. I swear. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Mmm. 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 The flavors are just just straight winner. And at Target, I bought a a pizza stone. I had Zane, and the pizza stone came from Zanesville, Ohio, because I'm born and raised in Ohio, so I know Zanesville, Ohio, all parts of Ohio. So, but I'm originally from Southern Ohio, so picked up the pizza stone and that's why I, you know one of the reasons why I went amongst a couple others but anyway um because uh I wanted to make homemade pizzas because that's what I used to make years ago like organic homemade pizzas so excuse me y'all be coming back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I get down with the organic homemade pizza so I'll be you for my crust I will be trying the ancient grain flour the spelt flour and I'll be doing one with like lots of sauce. Or I probably, what I probably end up doing is some breadsticks and then making different sauces. If I choose not to use the skim milk mozzarella tree cheese. But if so, I can just make a regular pizza with that. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now, my tooth is killing me. I don't know if y'all had a severe toothache where it make you wanna start going, oh, uh, that's how I feel right now. I just wanna cry. Struggle is real, real. This is a, I'm struggle, struggling. I'm struggling. Mm. Mm. That lemon, my lemon sauce pairs very well with salmon, chicken, and like I said, I'm, when I do the seafood ball, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do, if they got organic corn, I'm, I want organic corn, because the other corns I've been buying, they don't taste good at all. So, I don't know in this town if I can get that or not. Um, I may have to just drive into another town, which is about 20 minutes away, and then go to Whole Foods. Or maybe Trader Joe's. I'll get some organic corn, some organic vegetables to go with, along with the fried shrimp and the regular crab legs to try the lemon sauce with. So far, it's a hit when it comes to the salmon and the chicken. It's, a, it's an all-around hit. And I've had it, I think I've had it with turkey too. And it's, it's, it's definitely a hit too, so. You can't even taste the crumble. Mm. 
I gotta put some more water in my tea. It's a little too sweet. It tastes like I'm drinking candy. This is a really yummy, yummy, yummy meal. And I'm gonna make it again. Uh, when I, uh, mm. I would eat black rice or wild rice, but I don't like the wild flavor in it. That's why I don't eat wild rice. Yes, that back there on our on my TV is B Loves and Her Husband. And they're eating, she made stuffed bell peppers. And that's what they're eating. They had me cracking up because he was like, I, Nate, he was like, I gotta have my cornbread. I gotta have my cornbread. We made a hit until you put the bread with it. Mm. I'm trying not to hit that too. Actually, to be quite honest, my lemon sauce will give you beautiful skin. That's my claim. You know, I'll be 52 this year, so. Take it how you want it. But um, I still got a neck. If you're losing your neck, eat my lemon sauce on your food. On your, on your veggies and your grains and your meats and seafood. I'm ready for bed. If I can sleep. Mm. O D E I T Ys, my organic deities. Your girl, honey, so 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 sweet. The lemon sauce was out the park. So good. And the fact, and the one part I love about it is the prep part. When you prepping all the garlic, excuse me, oh Lord. The garlic and the prep time, depending on, like me, when I first bring in my vegetables from the grocery store, I wash them down in a little soapy bleach water. I wash my, all my vegetables, my peppers, everything. I wash everything down. I even wipe down my onions on the outer dry skin area. I wipe them down too. I've been doing that for years, even before the corona came about. But anyway, um, I actually, the prep time is not long, especially if your vegetables are already clean and ready to go. If not, it may take you like about 10, 15 more minutes to, you know, wash your vegetables, you know, slice them, get them sliced. You And you don't have to like do any chopping or nothing. Uh, if you, uh, you definitely going to have to have, for, for my sauce, you definitely going to have to have a, a blender or a food processor, something to, you know, 
mix everything up. Pref yeah, blender or food processor, one or the other. You know, I mean, you could.